So I want to take just a little bit of time to show you how else you can uh, conduct research for your project in this class. Uh, I want to take a little bit of time to show you how to use the uh, library um, books, the regular MU library catalog. Um, there are lots of materials, of course, available in the Modern Language Association uh, International Bibliography, which I showed you how to access before. That's in articles and databases. But um, if you feel like you are not having enough luck there, um, you can also try to find electronic materials through the catalog. So I'm going to go to the Marymount University Library page, okay? Uh, and I'm going to select, instead of articles and databases, I'm going to select the MU library search. Now, um, we're going to have to limit and narrow things because given that the library is itself shut down, we won't be able to access physical print copies of books. Um, but I want to show you how to use this uh, nonetheless, okay? Um, books will be a really great resource for you if you are um, looking for kind of background information or broader information. Uh, so we've spent a lot of time in this class when we've been working on your essays, thinking about um, working from more foundational to more complex, okay? So books are going to be more foundational, all right? Um, articles and journal articles and, and book chapters sometimes, but mostly book articles, uh, sorry, um, journal articles, those are going to be more com complex in a way, right? Not that the content is any necessarily more complex or it's more challengingly written, but um, but they're self-contained, um, smaller works uh, uh, on topics that are very contemporary, okay? So they depend on the reader having done a lot of the background research already, knowing a little bit about the subject material. This is what makes journal articles sometimes more complicated to read than books, okay? I know that we don't like to read books um, and books are, you know, annoying to have to find in the library, right? But luckily we uh, do have eBooks as well. Um, so uh, eBooks and books in general will be more accessible and they will offer you that kind of background material that you may be looking for, okay? Where journal articles will not do that. They assume that you have already read that stuff, okay? Uh, journal articles are um, sort of quote unquote cutting edge, current up-to-date research on the topic. So they assume that their readership is gonna be scholars who have already read a bunch of books on the subject, okay? And that way they can look at a very, very small um, sort of na very narrowed um, um, topic, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you how to do a broad search on say um, marriage and Jane Austen, okay? So I'm gonna search, uh, it says searching online resources. This gives you all sorts of things, right? Um, ignore that for the time being. This is a very basic search. There is an advanced search here, but I'll show you just using this basic search. So I'm gonna look for, um, Let's say I want to find stuff that's only on marriage customs, marriage practices in England in the 18th century. I'm not even interested in talking about Austin right now. I just want to know, a, a, I want to get information on the history of marriage law and marriage customs in the 18th century in England, okay? So I'm going to look up 18th century. Now it might seem strange to type this in, but think about what you're searching, okay? You're gonna be searching a record that will probably have some text in it, and anyone who is writing about a particular time period will use a phrase like this, 18th century, 17th century, restoration, regency. They will use phrases like that to help situate um, their topics, right? very, very broadly. So any kind of abstract or summary, right, that you might be searching, and that's what the catalog is doing, is searching those those materials. Um, you should be able to find something related to the 18th century if you actually type in 18th century. If you do something like 1800s, it won't come up, okay? You have to use the language that uh, the scholars are using, that people who are writing the books are actually using. So I'm gonna look for 18th century, and then I'm gonna look up marriage, uh, marriage. Um, and let's just see what happens here. Uh, maybe I'll put history in too, okay? 
And now you'll notice that there are lots of subcategories here. I, don't worry about that right now, okay? Just do this basic search. Hit enter. It's got me searching online. I'm gonna change this to everything because I want you to see um, why that's what, what's happening here, okay? Um, it, sh it will normally default to everything. Okay. All right, so you will get a page that might look like this, okay? Lots of stuff going on here. Okay, so I am going to um, do some narrowing here because we have 132,000 results. There's no way we can go through that, okay? So what I wanna do is check availability, and I wanna check stuff that's available online, first of all, okay? If I click Apply Filters, now we have 133, which I don't know why that's the case, there are even more, right? Which seems very, very strange to me, but just keep going, okay? Um, you just kinda of have to learn how to use the, the tool to get what you are looking for. Um, and the way you do that really is by trial and error. Okay, I don't wanna sort by anything, but I do wanna look by availability. Uh, let's see, resource type. Okay, this is, this is useful for us. All of these things right now are being selected, okay? Do not select dissertations, okay? Let's exclude dissertations, okay? The reason I'm doing this, and notice that now we have 60,000 results. That was a huge amount of stuff that we just excluded, okay? Exclude dissertations. They are available online, but these are really long, several hundred page um, projects that are done by PhD students. So, you know, it's it's research, it's advanced research, but they're th these are materials that you get in order to get your PhD awarded to you, okay? So they haven't been peer reviewed. Um, they're also student work. People are often trying to show off. I did when I wrote my dissertation, right? <laughs> um, uh, and they, they're, they're not gonna be written in a way that is really accessible to young scholars, okay? So just exclude dissertations. Just please exclude them, okay? Um, let's see what else we can exclude from research type. Let's say I only want to get books and book chapters, okay? All right, so now what I've done is I have um, eliminated dissertations and I'm looking for only things that are online, books and book chapters, okay? All right, now this is better. I still have tons of stuff here. Look at that. It's still 3,451 results, but that's much better, okay? <laughs> so um, there are a couple things that I might notice about this. Um, this is gonna give me some more search terms, actually. This is about drama, right? Well, we're reading Jane Austen, so we're not really interested in, in plays. We're interested in novels, okay? So I could add something up here that talks about novels, okay? And that will exclude some things. Um, women writers is a useful phrase, okay? Uh, let's see. Um, there's some things here that might be kind of interesting. Let's just take a look at this one, the Cambridge Introduction to the 18th Century Novel, okay? I am going to click into this. The reason I'm choosing this one is because I know that Cambridge Companions, Cambridge Introductions, are gonna offer good, general, accessible information, okay, on your subject. Now, this is a book that has a bunch of chapters in it, and each chapter is on a different thing. So that means if you're looking for marriage, you're gonna have to sort of dig through this a little bit. What's underlined here in yellow are my search terms, okay? And you can see here, marriage. So this is in a chapter called uh, the, the Reformation of Family, sorry, um, Alternative Communities Beyond Marriage. Okay, That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for beyond marriage. I'm looking for marriage. Okay, so let's X that out, all right? Um, Women Writers Redefine Marriage, The Matrimonial Trap. This is by Laura Thomason. Remember her name? Um, she was the author who had written that article that I extracted for you for the... Um, for the, the, uh, the discussion board project, okay? Let's take a look at this. It's gonna give you a little bit of a description here. Uh, it's gonna look at the ways, this book looks at the ways six women writers of the long 18th century use public and private writing to redefine marriage as an egalitarian relationship. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, it gives me the contents. It's got this introduction, um, and the introduction has a title, 18th century marriage in crisis, question mark, okay? All right. 
this looks like it might be kind of interesting, right? It doesn't have anything about Austin here, okay? But it might give me, in the introduction especially, some really good historical information, okay? I can click the ebook link here, um, and it looks like I'm gonna have to um, put some other stuff in here. Uh, it's gonna make me log in. I don't know why I wasn't already logged in, but at any rate, okay. Here's the ebook, all right? Um, I'm gonna click this first one because all these other ones are on stuff that's too specific, right? It's not relevant to us. But this first introduction might be useful, okay? To give us some broad historical background on how women writers looked at marriage, okay? So this would be a useful source, right? It doesn't have anything to do with Austin, but it does give me broad background material on marriage in the 18th century, okay? So that's useful. Another term that you might use instead of 18th century is regency, okay? So let me see if I can go back here. Um, instead of 18th century, um, regency is particularly the sub-period that Jane Austen is writing within. So I'm gonna look for regency and marriage and history. Now, now it's gotten rid of all of my um, all of my refinements. Okay, so I'm going to go back and redo those. Okay, research types. I don't want dissertations. What I'm looking for are book chapters and books. Okay, and I'm looking for stuff that is available online. Okay. Um, all right. So, so this is giving us a little bit more information. Um, that's more particular to just this, this sub-period, the Regency period. It's not as relevant, okay? Um, it's not as relevant for us just from a basic look at this. And remember, always load more results if you're um, here, okay? Uh, in this, in the interface is not really the, the best, okay? But here's one, book chapter. This is, this is the introduction to this book, Women in Marriage in 19th Century England. It's from 89, but it's available online. It's probably gonna give us some historical information. That might be interesting, okay? All right, this is probably exactly what I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna click into the ebook um, place. It's the same um, interface, okay? Uh, and Let's see, this, so this is giving us the whole book, okay? Um, let's take a look at the contents. Don't know why it is not giving me the, whole, the individual things, right? But, but here's the introduction, okay? And you can download this, you can print it, you can save it as a PDF, you can read it here, okay? Um, this would be a great option for you, okay? Um, all right, so those are just some things to keep in mind, all right? When you are um, trying to find good background information, books are gonna be really your friends, okay? So um, I'm gonna go back to 18th century. And instead of marriage and history, I'm gonna do marriage and Jane Austen. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of 18th century because it doesn't really matter. I'm talking about Jane Austen, so that gives me a time period already. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna limit it to, um, here's, here's a great book, but it's probably not available online. We'll see if it is. I'm gonna look for only things that are available online again, and I'm going to look for um, book chapters and books. And I'm gonna apply my filters. Okay, so that book that we looked at, the book that we saw up here, Jane Austen and Marriage, is not available online, okay? Um, but, you could consider using the introduction to your um, book persuasion, okay? So if I click into this and I wanna look at the ebook, okay, remember that there's going to be an introduction usually, okay? Let's see what, let's see what this says. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't looked at this, so I'm not sure, but this doesn't look like it has an introduction. Um, if you have the Penguin edition or the Oxford edition, um, you can read the introduction and use that as a source, okay? This one doesn't seem like it's doing what, um, what I want it to do. This is a strange open road media, in, it's, it's not a very good um, um, printing, right? It's a very strange printing. It's like one of those weird things you get on Amazon. Um, okay, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Um, here's a book on Jane Austen, might be interesting. French appreciation, we don't, 
Let's, let's take a look at this one. Family likeness, sex, marriage, and incest from Jane Austen to Virginia Woolf. I don't know what this is going to be like, but I'm going to check it out. One of the things you might note is that there are subject headings in each one of these. Um, these are links. So if you find a subject heading that you really are interested in, you can click it and it will show you all of the other books that have been categorized under that same subject heading. Okay. But let's check into this and see what it, see what it looks like. Now this is going to have a lot of stuff in here that I'm not interested in, right? But that's, but that's okay. Remember, introductions are your friends. Making and breaking the rules and introduction. Okay, so this gives me the introduction. Um, and it looks like it's about sex, marriage, and desire within families, okay? So this is probably going to be too specific for me. Right. Cousins in love, etc. in Jane Austen. Now remember, um, Mr. Elliot is a distant cousin of um, Anne Elliot, so perhaps if you were interested in that as a, as a subtopic, okay, you could you could look at this. But this doesn't look like it's going to be useful for you. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. Just dig around, see what else you can find. Remember, always load more results because these first ones don't look good to me. Okay, the courtship novel, 1740 to 1820, a feminized genre. Well, persuasion is essentially a sort of post courtship novel. Um, love and friendship, achieving happiness in Jane Austen. Uh, that could be useful. Let's see. So you get you get the point. Look for introductions, right? Introductions will be very useful. This is a slightly different interface. This is going to be the Viva Online Books um, website if it comes up. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, chapter one, love and friendship. This has lots of stuff on Emma. Okay, um, but uh, but chapter one might be really interesting for us. Okay, let me look. This is really all about Emma. Okay, so if you're working on Emma, this will be useful, but it may not be useful for you, um, you know, right now. I don't know why this says, um, I think it's because it's a chapter and it's missing the word Emma here, right? But at any rate, um, yeah, Jane Austen's Emma. This is just on Emma. Um, so you get the point, okay? Um, introductions will be really useful for you, okay? Um, individual chapters might be really useful for you. Make sure that you are using the terms that scholars are using, like this idea of companionate marriage, okay? That might be a great um, term that I can go back and search for, okay? If, if this book isn't interesting to me, right, I can go and check this out. It's probably got a really good introduction again. Um, but what I can do is I can take that term, which I know scholars use because now I've seen it several times, and I'm going to look for companionate. And I'm going to look for Austin. Let's see what happens. And I can, again, limit things so that I'm only getting what I'm looking for. Uh, interest is very strong, especially da, 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 dilemma of friendship. Um, this is the Laura Thomason essay that we looked at. Um, here, here's that courtship novel again, marriage and national identity. That could be sort of interesting. This is a dissertation, right? So again, you want to go and limit things, right? You only want things that are available online and you want to limit it to um, book chapters and books, okay? Um, all right, 13 results. That's much better, okay? Uh, this is what I mean by getting the best search terms. Companionate marriage, Austin. If I wanted to find a history of companionate marriage in England, I might look at companionate marriage, history, and England. England may not be the best term for me. It might be Britain. Might That might be the word I need. Um, but uh, again, I'm going to look for things that are available online. And I'm going to look for recent. See, it clears all of this stuff out every time you you search it. So, okay. Um, so some of these, like this, is Shakespeare's time, which is way too early for us. Lots of stuff on Shakespeare. Here's Victorian um, England. Now Austen is much earlier. She's not writing in Victorian England, so do not call it Victorian. Okay, <laughs> um, but this introduction might be useful for you. Um, marriage and companionate ideals since 1750. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. And it is an ebook. 
and we can click into it and take a look. Okay, so the point that I'm trying to make here, okay, is that um, if you cannot find articles on exactly your topic, it's most likely a problem with your search terms, okay, and the fact that you might just be looking at journal articles. So take a step back and think about what you might need in a broader context to, to give you the information that you might need as background, okay. Um, so if you have more questions about this, let me know. I'm very happy to um, talk you through some options for research. Uh, let me know when you want to set up your meeting with me, and I will talk to you more then. Thanks, everybody.